Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center and today we're talking about the Janome Skyline S7. In this video we're going to talk about how to thread the machine and how to wind a bobbin. So to start with, when you thread and unthread your machine, make sure you have your presser foot up. Now, right now, it's to where this is not working, the presser lifter. The way to get it to work, press that button, and now it works. See, the presser lifter button can lift or raise this, but once it's up, it's not, the lifter is not going to work. So it kind of depends on what you want to do. So if you want to make that work by hand, there you go, now it works. Okay. So we can get into that more on the basic operations video. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna unthread our machine. And notice I'm cutting the thread up here by the spool and pulling the excess out at the needle. That's important because we want to make sure not to pull our thread backwards out of your machine. If you're in the habit of doing that, I want you to stop right now. And for na from now on, cut here. The thread should always be going towards the needle. That's gonna help prevent lint from building up in the tension discs. Okay, so we take that out of there. We're gonna take our bobbin out for now. There you go. Okay, so the machine is unthreaded. Now, to wind a bobbin, you put your thread on the spool pin like this. Put your spool cap on. I like to leave a little bit of room, maybe half a millimeter, just enough so that this can, uh, the spool can spin. These cross-wound spools tend to wanna to spin a little bit. And then, to wind your bobbin, you start out by putting the thread behind these little ears, just like that, and then on the right side of that piece of metal, and then give it a little pull. You should be able to hear that click. Now, we're following the dotted line thread path for doing the bobbin. So you go over here. There's even a little picture of a bobbin right there. Now, I'm doing my bobbin winding a little different than what the book says because I think it's a little more secure. So I'm putting my thread through the side of the bobbin. And by the way, when you use bobbins in your Skyline S7, make sure you're using class 15 bobbins. You don't want to have bobbins that are shorter, wider, or rounded or anything like that. You want to use regular class 15 bobbins. We put this on here like this. Press the bobbin spindle to the right. And now right here on the screen, you can see we're ready for bobbin winding. So at this point, I get my foot control ready to go, press on it, and it starts winding. Notice also the needle's not going up and down. That's because it's in bobbin winding mode. I let it go for several layers here before I cut off my thread. And that part is now, the, the thread tail on the inside is now covered up by the wraps of thread. And so I can continue winding my bobbin as full as I want to. Once the bobbin is full, it's, the wraps of thread are gonna press against that little stopper there, and that's gonna keep the bobbin from winding too full. But if you just wanna wind it partway full, that's fine. And then you take this off like that, and there's a little thread cutter right back there, and you've cut the thread on your bobbin. To put the bobbin in the machine, your cover has a little diagram right there showing how to, the bobbin should be uh, inserted into the machine. Notice the thread's coming off the left-hand side. It kind of like looks like the letter P. So make sure you have the letter P, not the letter Q. Okay, like that. We put it under here, and the, the uh, chart shows you uh, put the thread under that little metal leaf right there. Just like that, and that puts it into the guides that it needs to be. But it's not all the way into the guides until you stop it from, from spinning and pull this towards the back like that. Then you pull it around like this, cut it off, and that is threaded. If you want to have your thread tail from your bobbin come up through the needle plate to start with, sometimes you want to do this like for gathering or something like that. In that case, put it in, same way, but don't bring it all the way around here to two, just leave it right up there coming out this way. And then I'll show you in a, in a bit how to bring it up through the needle plate. Okay, so to uh, thread your machine, put this under here like this, to the right of that metal piece, give that little pull that you hear, come down here, up like this, around into the take-up lever, make sure it's in the take-up lever, Come down this way. Now, if you're unfamiliar with, wind, with threading your machine, then I suggest you open this and you can see what's going on here. 
Here we have another guide right there. Now you notice this has a, a hole right there. That's for if you're using a twin needle, two spools of thread, same thread path, but then the um, one inside and one into that little hole there. That will help keep the threads um, nice and flowing well. And then there's another needle bar guide right there, like that. And then you bring it up over seven. When you do that, it goes into the guide that is going to uh, be used for threading the needle. Then I bring it up under the cutter, push this down firmly, lift it up, and my needle is threaded like that. Okay, now to bring up your bobbin thread, if you want to do that, rather than cutting it over here at two. So the way I'm doing that, I'm holding my top thread like this at an upward angle towards me, push needle down, needle up, and that loop of thread is the bobbin thread. I don't like getting my fingers close to the pointy end of the needle, so this is how I'm getting my bobbin thread up. Take the tail end of your top thread, put it under the foot, and swipe that straight back. And now your machine is threaded and ready to sew. So if this video has been helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos for you to watch on this YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.